Welcome to MTRON Training Part 38. In this training tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at working with our advanced failsafe protection strategies we have in our MTRON ECU programming. Our advanced failsafe strategies require us to add some additional sensors such as fuel pressure, oil pressure, or EGT. Once we've added the sensors into our MTRON, we can use those for data analysis purpose, but we can also take those same channels and set conditions so that if we become unsafe, let's just say our oil pressure drops, we can start to rev limit and cut out our engine so we don't continue to run it in low oil pressure situations. We're gonna have a lot to cover talking about and taking a look at advanced failsafe strategies. Let's jump in so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started. We're gonna be taking a look at programming our advanced failsafe protection features within our MTRON ECU. Our last tutorial, we focused on the basic failsafe protection setup and configuration. So now we're gonna take things a step further and looking at the additional things that we can actually set up and work with. Now, the reason why I'm labeling this advanced failsafe protection is because these additional sensors may not be something that you have integrated to get your engine to fire up and run on the MTRON. So things like our fuel pressure, things like oil pressure, or EGTs are not needed to get our engine to actually run and run properly on the MTRON. Although these sensors are definitely welcome for data analysis purpose, we can go in and take it a step further and implement them into failsafe protection because if we fall outside, let's say oil pressure, if we start to drop too low in oil pressure at higher engine speeds, we wanna shut down the engine. We don't wanna allow it to continue to run because we'll have all kinds of internal damage that can occur. So we can use that oil pressure to see what the oil pressure is doing and then take action when it drops too low, utilizing these advanced failsafe protections. Let's jump in and take a look at where we can turn these on and then how to start to work with them. First thing we're gonna do is jump from our tuning window here into configure. In configure, we're gonna move here into our functions and to function output setup. Now, if you are implementing an oil pressure failsafe protection or a fuel pressure failsafe protection or an EGT failsafe protection, we can find that these are gonna be down here on the lower portion of our screen and we wanna turn them on and work with them, we actually have to have the sensor added in and wired into our MTRON. We can't toggle these on and start to work with them unless we actually have that specific sensor doing its job and registering and reading back into the MTRON. So if you're going to implement these, we need to go back in here just real quickly, channels input setup, engine, and in this case, I have my fuel pressure sensor here wired in. Um, I do not have an oil pressure sensor. If we're looking in our list here of all the sensors that we have, engine oil pressure is the top sensor right here. I don't have that wired in. So I have fuel pressure, I have EMAP, a um, bunch of other sensors, lambda sensor. So if we want to use oil pressure failsafe protection, we'd actually have to implement it right here first. However, I can still go through the tutorial here and show you how to configure things and explain exactly how it works. Um, but we do wanna make sure that if you wanna actually implement it, that you do have that specific sensor wired in and configured and set up. Okay, so let's jump back in here. We're gonna go to functions, output setup. Now, if we go down our list, we're gonna turn all of our options on here. So we have engine protection, engine temp. Now, technically, we don't need to use this particular failsafe strategy because we actually can build in a main rev limiter table to encompass a rev limiter based on actual engine temperature. We're gonna go through and just uh, go through all the setup and details for this, but just be aware that you're able to accomplish the exact same task in the actual main rev limiter function. And we talked about that in the last video of how to do that. But I'm gonna go and turn it on just the same right now. So under the function enable, I'll just say on. The function type, I'm gonna set this into an ignition cut. So it just does a full cut when it starts to exceed a ter certain temperature that we're gonna program for the engine. Uh, we have our engine protection oil pressure. Even though I don't have an oil pressure sensor, we're still gonna go and just turn this on right now just for demo purposes. Function type, I'm gonna go and set this to ignition cut and I choose between fuel and ignition cut. My personal preference is always ignition cut. Let's go here and click okay. Now, engine protection fuel pressure. We're gonna go here and we're gonna turn this on and. Again, set this to ignition cut. Now I do have a fuel pressure sensor added into my fuel system, so this would pertain to my application here. Let's click OK. Now, engine protection EGT. I do not have an EGT sensor wired in to my engine into the MTRON. It's not set up. I'm gonna turn this on. We're still gonna go through and talk about it. However, you do need to have that sensor present, and we can set that up under channels input setup. You can find that specific channel for EGT. It'll be set up typically as a temp sensor input, or if you have a CAN expansion module, 
That's gonna be Thanks for checking out our teaser clip. If you want to see the rest of this video and more than 500 hours of current EFI training we have to offer, make sure you click right here. If you want to go and check out more teaser clips from this training course, click here. And you don't want to miss any of the videos we're going to be releasing on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and click here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.